Hi, welcome back to Waxing On. Friday, kicking off the weekend, and you know I always like to get a great, uh, great album to take us through the weekend. Great road album to listen to if you're out for a drive. And one of my favorite artists, and I, I touched on them once before, uh, Jackson Brown. If you've watched the show, you know that Running on Empty, one of my favorite albums. One of those uh, few albums that everybody should have. I got about five that jumped into my head there. I said like Jackson Brown's Running on Empty, Meatloaf, Batter to Hell, um, The Beatles, White Album. We've got Aqualung, Jethro Tull. I mean, these are albums that, you know, everybody should have listened to. They are classics. And we're not even touching on stuff by Led Zeppelin or, you know, some of these other bands. There's a pile of them out there, great albums that everybody should give a listen to. But Jackson Brown, one of my favorites. Uh, it's a whole different style. It came from that Southern California style in the, in the 70s. Uh, you know, Eagles and Duran that were in Zevon, Jackson Brown. Uh, he started out writing for other people, but then started recording for himself. And boy, when he got recording, he had some great people around him. I'll just give you an idea of some of the side men he had. Not necessarily on this album, but it could be. This is the greatest hits album we're going to talk about. It's uh, The Next Voice You Hear. And again, compilation from a lot of different albums so a lot of these side players you know may be in and out they don't really give me a listing now of who's playing on each song when you get the greatest hits ones but uh, going back over the other albums here's some of the guys that he keeps company with we've got Lee Scalar the great bass player from LA and you've heard me talk about him a number of times before Russ Kunkel uh, David Crosby and Graham Nash contributing some background vocals on tracks We've got Joni Mitchell, David Lindley. Of course, David Lindley was a big part of the sound in Running on Empty as well and performing on here. Uh, Don Henley, uh, Glenn Frey, Lowell George, Waddy Wachell, Danny Korchmar. A lot of the people in there that are session players that you hear, like Korchmar, Wachell, uh, Russ Kunkel, Lee Scalar, they also formed their own band called The Immediate Family that they're doing some recording and touring with now. But they were session musicians that run a lot of these kind of albums. Now this one, next voice you hear, um, best of but two new songs. Uh, the new songs were uh, nowhere near uh, Definitive Collection. Firstly, just mention that, it's nowhere near Definitive Collection. This is a, a shorter thing. There is a longer Greatest Hits that covers a lot more tunes. So I just wanted to let you know about that one. Anyways, the uh, the new songs, to do Rebel Jesus and The Next Voice You Hear. So keep that in mind, it's, we're not saying this is the essential, this is the, you know, the definitive, but it's a good idea what Jackson Brown was up to at this point, and again, some great favorites on here. I'll give you some idea of what we're listening to. Uh, Doctor My Eyes, a 1997 remaster, I mean, great classic tune. Uh, These Days, Fountain of Sorrow, Late for the Sky, Another big, big hit that I remember from the AM radio, even uh, The Pretender, Running on Empty. Yeah, I can't lose that one. Call It Alone, Somebody's Baby, Tender is the Night. Uh, we've got In the Shape of a Heart, Lives in the Balance, Sky Blue and Black, The Brigades of Heaven, and The Rebel Jesus, and The Next Voice You Hear. I mean, there's a lot of titles in there you're probably going to recognize. And if you don't recognize them right off when you hear them, yes, they're going to come back. I mean, he did get airplay with uh, a number of uh, those songs, especially at FM radio, more so than AM. But, uh, I mean, it's just been a book of great tunes, one after another. It's good music to listen to. Nothing better than a nice drive on a sunny day and cranking up some Jackson Brown to take you there. It's uh, a happy, fun album. I, I just can't say enough. Jackson Brown, one of my favorites, again, from, from that era, and I still listen to him now, and it still stands up just as well. So that's something for you to listen to for the weekend. we got Jackson Brown. I'm listening to the next post you hear. I bought that on iTunes. Can you imagine? That's how far back I've had this. I don't know how many of you even still remember iTunes or still use iTunes. This is before iMusic when we actually went in and purchased like we were used to doing in my era where you went in, you bought the album, you bought the single, you bought the tape or whatever it happened to be. When iTunes came along, that was great. I had a whole record store available to me right in my hand and I still bought. I do listen to some of the streaming. A lot of times I listen to streaming to get an idea of who I might want to listen to more. Uh, 
I have to say I'm not a subscriber to the streaming networks because I'm still trying to get the money out into the artist's hands and I do still buy when I can. Now iTunes is kind of moving on and even my music is kind of taken over with the streaming and that but this album I've had that since iTunes so that's how long I've been listening to this one. So just something to keep in mind when you are streaming not every network pays the artist the same so maybe do a little checking and find out who puts a little more money in the artist's pocket because uh, what they're doing for us they need to be rewarded for that. Okay that's it Friday Jackson Brown everybody have a great weekend take care stay safe see you on Monday.